Cheek weave! My name is Luna and surprise surprise, I play the harp. When I was a teenager I learned a tune called The Princess Royal or The Princess Royale and I would love your help as fellow musical detectives to try to figure out where on earth it came from. In 1840 my hero Edward Bunting. Yeah, you've probably never heard of him. He's a harp music collector. It is official. I'm a nerd. That's okay. Anyway, <laughs> Edward Bunting published a seminal collection called The Ancient Music of Ireland. So in it, he included a tune titled Princess Royal or Miss McDermott. And he attributed it to Turlock Carlin, our most well-known Irish composer, with the note, composed by Carlin for the daughter of McDermott Rowe, the representative of the old princess of Coolavon. Bunting also attributed the tune to Carlin in his manuscript notes from 1800. Where is the problem? There is no problem so far, but I will tell you just a funny note, which is around 1810, a very modest piper called O'Farrell published a book called Collection of National Irish Music for the Illin Pipes, with the subtitle with the most perfect instruction ever yet published. That guy definitely had no self-esteem issues. In this volume, Farrell also has that tune I learned as a teenager, simply called Air by Carlin. But the English writer Frank Kidson in 1894 disagrees with the attribution to O'Carlin and its Irish provenance. He says that the air was commonly known in the early part of the 1700s and that it was an English country dance. It appears in 1730 in Walsh's Complete Dancing Master as the Princess Royal, the new way, and in 1731 in Wright's Complete Collection of Celebrated Country Dances as the new Princess Royal. And therein lies the rub. However it came into existence, in 1796, a violinist and violist called William Shield, who wrote ballad operas for the popular stage, turned the melody into a song called The Arethusa. The piece became tremendously popular in England. Think chart it, number one. One hypothesis is that song became very popular in England because the melody was already familiar to the English as a country dance. Those who believe the tune is a harp piece from Ireland say it was through publication and subsequent republication that the tune became so popular and then it became erroneously considered an English air. So there's no conclusive evidence there, but maybe the title could give us a clue. Bunting says that the Princess Royal was daughter of Macdermott Rowe, the representative of the old princes of Coolavon. Incidentally, O'Sullivan notes that there were two branches of the McDermott family. There was the McDermott's of Alderford in County Roscommon, usually known by the title McDermott Row, and the McDermott's of Coolavon in County Sligo. The head of the Coolavon branch was known in Carolyn's time as the Prince of Coolavon. So the girl this tune was written for and named after was probably based in Sligo rather than Roscommon. But the thing is, Princess Royal is also the title reserved for the eldest daughter of the British royal family if the sovereign sees fit to award it. Kidson maintains the Princess Royal of the title of the country dance, as he sees it, references Princess Anne of Hanover. She was the Duchess of Brunswick and Lüneburg from 1709 to 1759 and she was the daughter of King George II of England who bestowed the title of Princess Royal on her in 1727. So here's a summary of my thoughts. This piece of music could be a Carlin composition, which then found its way into the English tradition. The supporting evidence for this argument is there is another Carlin composition called Mrs. McDermott Row, which has some melodic similarities. In my experience, composers frequently reuse motifs in different works, and the fact that Mrs. McDermott Rowe shares some musical material with The Princess Royal makes a strong case for Carolyn composing The Princess Royal. Secondly, the title Princess Royal makes perfect sense in the context of Carolyn's life and the social milieu in which he lived and worked. And then finally, 
Ireland in 1727 was undergoing severe oppression from the British in the form of the penal laws, etc. I imagine the British royal family were just a little unpopular at the time, and therefore wouldn't it be a little unusual for a country dance named after Princess Anne to enter the Irish tradition and survive until the 2000s? Anyway, on the con side, I really do see how it does kind of sound like a country dance. <laughs> So is it an English country dance? Well, the piece is very frequently published in England in the 1700s, and it's twice in dancing tutorials. The title could just as easily refer to Anne of Hanover as it could to Miss McDermott. But then other permutations are possible too. Maybe it was a country dance from England that made its way over to Ireland. Carolyn heard it and hibernicized it, whether intentionally or not. Or perhaps Miss McDermott found its way over to England, country dancers heard it, and then they anglicised it. So, I have no answer, but I'm hoping you're gonna help me with one. I'm gonna play this piece for you now. I would love you to sit back, close your eyes, be transported back in time, and then let me know in the comments what you think. Is it a harp piece by Carlin, or is it an English country dance? Abra